How to give epinephrine through endotracheal tube. If you're in a situation where you need to administer epinephrine but can't get an IV or intraosseous line, the endotracheal tube can be a lifesaver. Let's break down the steps to do this safely and effectively. First, it's crucial to understand that the dose of epinephrine for endotracheal administration is different from the IV or intraosseous route. For adults, the recommended dose is 2 to 2.5 milligrams of epinephrine, which needs to be diluted in 10 milliliters of normal saline, NS. To prepare the dose, you would typically take 2 to 2.5 milligrams of epinephrine from a 1-1000 concentration and mix it with 10 milliliters of NS. This is important because the concentration and volume ensure the drug is delivered correctly through the endotracheal tube. Once you have your solution ready, you need to administer it directly into the endotracheal tube. After injecting the epinephrine solution, follow it with a 5 milliliter normal saline flush to help push the drug further into the lungs and improve absorption. After the flush, perform five consecutive positive pressure ventilations to help distribute the epinephrine throughout the lungs. This step is vital for ensuring the drug reaches the bloodstream effectively. It's also important to note that the effectiveness of endotracheal epinephrine can vary. Some studies suggest that higher doses may be needed to achieve the desired effect, such as increasing blood pressure, because lower doses can sometimes cause transient peripheral vasodilation, leading to a decrease in blood pressure. In pediatric patients, the dose is typically 0.1 mg per kilogram of the 1 to 1,000 concentration. But this can be adjusted based on the specific situation and patient response. Remember, if possible, the intraosseous route is generally preferred over the endotracheal route due to its more direct delivery into the bloodstream. However, in situations where neither IV nor intraosseous access is available, the endotracheal route can be a critical alternative. Always follow the specific guidelines and recommendations from organizations like the American Heart Association to ensure you're using the best practices for administering epinephrine through an endotracheal tube. This will help you provide the best possible care in emergency situations.